Hello, today we're going to do a deep dive into all things PCOS and blood tests. I'd like to thank our partner, Let's Get Checked, for sponsoring this video. Let's Get Checked is the creator of the Home PCOS Test Kit. If you'd like to try that, you can go to trylgc.com slash PCOS trainer and use the coupon code PCOS trainer 25 to get 25% off of your purchase. Now, what I love about Let's Get Checked is that it's making it easier for me to reach one of my 2023 goals, which is to monitor my health more closely. It's New Year's and I'm coming up on my 40th birthday. And last year I didn't even make it into my doctor's office for a physical. I just totally lost track of that. And that's not good if you have PCOS. You need to keep an eye on your health. There could be things going on, especially as you get a little bit older, that could affect our long-term health, not just your fertility. So it is important that you get regular physicals and regular hormonal testing done. Personally, I prefer to get it done more than once a year, but it is so hard to get into my doctor. She's extremely popular because she's amazing. But um, also, hormonal tests have to be done on a certain day of your cycle. So on top of like dealing with your child care schedule, if you're me, your work schedule, uh, your popular doctor that's always booked up, now you also have to sync all that up with doing the blood test on the right day of your possibly irregular cycle. So the PCOS test kit just comes to your door and you can use it on the right day and then share the, that information with whoever you want to on your healthcare team. It comes to you on an app. And so it's just so easy to get started. They send you the kit and they send little simple to read instructions for every step along the way, including how to get it shipped back to them. And uh, the blood test itself, you know, it's not like you have to stab yourself with a huge needle. These are little tiny like finger prick things. If you've ever done like a blood sugar test or seen somebody with diabetes do a blood sugar test, it's the same kind of finger prick they use for that. And then there's also a saliva test kit as well because this tests cortisol as part of the PCOS test kit. So for me, I just love the convenience of being able to do this more than once a year without scheduling and coordinating a doctor's appointment. For some of you, I know you really don't like going to the doctor because maybe they always get on you about your weight every time you come in and you're just sick of hearing about it or there's a lot of other reasons that you may wanna just take control of your own blood test. So I think this is a great option. Now let's get into the nitty gritty details of all the different hormonal blood tests that you might want to get or ask for from your physician if you have PCOS. Uh, because this is like full of acronyms and long names of blood tests and medical terminology, I'm gonna head over to my computer and share a quick slide presentation with you so that you can easily write down all the names of these tests right from the video or take a screenshot. Okay, let's head over there. Let's go over some blood tests that you wanna get yearly at your physical and for PCOS diagnosis. The first are the androgens tests. Free testosterone, so in PCOS, our ovaries make more testosterone than they should, and that causes problems like facial hair, losing your hair, and acne. But you also want to get something called SHBG, that's sex hormone binding globulin. That's a protein that transports testosterone to where it needs to go. In PCOS patients, that tends to be low too. So we make too much testosterone, and then we don't make enough of the stuff to get it to where it needs to go, so we don't get these symptoms. You also want to include a third test called an FAI, which just looks at the ratio between your free testosterone and your SHBG. And all three of those tests are included in the Let's Get Checked PCOS kit. These two additional androgen tests are not, but you may want to ask your doctor for them at your physical. They're DHEAS, and this is helpful if you think you have an adrenal androgen type PCOS. And then the other is 17-OH progesterone. You would only need to probably take this once, if at all. It's just to rule out a different condition that looks a lot like PCOS called non-classical congenital androplasia. So 
excuse me, adrenal hyperplasia. So I know that's a mouthful, but bring that up with your physician to make sure that they haven't diagnosed you with PCOS without ruling out this other condition. It's very rare, but you wanna make sure you have the right diagnosis if you're in the process of that. A few other hormone tests I like to get in my yearly physical are estrogen and progesterone. Uh, having the right ratio of those two hormones is really critical um, to just your overall feeling of wellness and feeling good. If you are estrogen dominant, if that ratio is off, you can do some things with your lifestyle to adjust for that, like eating more cruciferous vegetables. Anti-malarian hormone is another blood test included in the PCOS kit, and it measures your ovarian reserve, basically how many eggs you have. So that's an important one for those of us with our fertility journey. And then the other test that is included in the kit is cortisol, and that's done as a saliva test early in the morning. Cortisol is your stress hormone, so this is a good indicator of maybe um, how your lifestyle is affecting your body and your hormones. Two other hormone tests included in the kit are FSH and LH. FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone, is responsible for developing and releasing eggs. And luteinizing hormone is responsible for balancing progesterone and estrogen during um, ovulation. And so those two need to be in the right ratio in order for you to ovulate. But in PCOS, what we often find is that that ratio is reversed. Usually you want like a one-to-one -one ratio between FSH and LH, but in some cases you could have like a two-to-one or a, a two-to-three ratio. It can completely reverse. And if that's the case, that is probably why you're not ovulating. That's some information uh, your endocrinologist would probably like to have. So I hope this information I shared with you has left you feeling more confident and prepared if you're planning on going to that doctor's appointment for a diagnosis or a checkup, or if you're inspired to do what I'm doing and use Let's Get Checked to take control of your PCOS monitoring, um, you can go to trylgc.com slash PCOS trainer and use the coupon code PCOS trainer 25 to receive a discount. If you are looking for a place where you can get trusted information, inspiration, and support, I have got your back. Click subscribe, like this video, leave comments if you have questions.